Hello fellow preppers, tis I the rumpled one. There's this nice bench here on my property when I first bought it, but that was back in 89 and they didn't use pressure treated wood. And you can see it's uh, in need of some repair. Well, I just took a couple measurements and I've got enough wood from that uh, haul I scored the other day to um, fix my bench. So it looks like I got a little project to work on. I don't know when I'll get around to it, but it's just something. What made me think about it was I'm reading a book. Don't even recall the title. I just picked it up at the library. But it's talking about the study of time and how different cultures treat time differently. Now there's even one culture that has no concept of before and after. It's just always now. But it made me think about how fast we do things. I mean, when's the last time you slowed down and actually savored the food that you eat? I admit it. You know, I'll rush in and get a burger or make myself a sandwich, bacon and eggs or whatever, but most of the time I woof it down. I inhale it. I don't really stop to enjoy the flavors and savor it. Or maybe I have to go somewhere and I rush to get there. And when I'm there, I'm rushing to get things done. What's the hurry? What's the rush? And I catch myself doing that from time to time. Or if you call up a business, most of the time you'll get some robot automatic answering system. And you'll have to wait. And then you'll talk to a human if you're lucky, and then they'll tell you to wait a little bit longer. And usually, that just gets you going, doesn't it? It's, you want them to hurry up and tend to what you, your business, what you want. But how often do we just take the time just to sit? Just to sit. Oh, I know we all have things to do and places to go and people to see. <laughs> we got to work on our preps. But we can't miss the big picture. Otherwise, what's the point? Many people, I guess nowadays if they're lucky they have a job, they get up maybe 7 o'clock in the morning, maybe 6.30, maybe even 6, get dressed, maybe eat breakfast, grab a cup of coffee, rush off to work, you know, clock in somewhere around 8, then they work all day, maybe get a half hour, hour for lunch wolf their lunch down, go back to work. Five o'clock, it's yabba dabba do time. And see, that dated me. If you don't know what yabba dabba do time is, then you're a youngster. Then maybe you get home somewhere around 6, 6.30. Maybe dinner's waiting for you. Maybe you have to make it. Then you plop down in front of the TV and zone out. Maybe 9, 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock, you go to bed and start it all over. I mean, is that living? <laughs> that's what we have progressed. That, that's the progress, that civilization. Sounds like madness when, when you think about it, doesn't it? But it gets down to choices. I mean, you can choose to take an hour a day just to sit, 
or you can choose to slow down when you eat or maybe you're thirsty and you grab some sugary drink or maybe you just get a nice big tall glass of ice water but do you gulp it down or do you sip it savor it most of you probably know I don't drink but I've seen the way some of the people who drink wine they swish it around they smell it sniff it and swirl it maybe they're on to something maybe they're taking that time and they're really enjoying it it does seem a bit pretentious but then again that's just a judgment I don't know or even when you're cooking I mean one of the things that's really funny is guys have a tendency just to crank up everything on high because they want it done quicker it doesn't really work too well that way one the food doesn't cook all the way through and two you usually wind up burning the outsides and a lot of people nowadays they just push a couple buttons on the microwave anyway they don't have time to cook when you think about that if anybody says they don't have time to cook then you really have to wonder how they're arranging their life and their priorities you don't have time to cook what's wrong with that picture So, sometime, I'm going to get that bench repaired. Who knows, I might get motivated and work on it today. Though it wasn't on today's chores list. Maybe this week. It's not raining, so it would be a good day to do something outside. But then I'll have a place to come out and sit. I sit on the front porch. You've seen me up there. But this bench faces, so I can see the uh, mountain and certain time of year you actually see the sun come up. Here let me uh, move the camera so you can see the view from the bench. You see there's a bench top. And that's what I get to look out and see. Some people might say, well, there ain't nothing there. Just some trees and some sky. And they're right. Other people go, wow, what a nice view. And you know what? They're right, too. So I know this video, it's not quite in the boring zone yet, but thought I'd just take my time, no hurry. Just kind of relax. Listen to the wind. In the distance, I can hear the uh, mighty Pacific. It's a rumbling sound.
Well, I guess my little mini break is up, so it's time to get back to it. Because if I fail to prepare today, I might not be able to prepare tomorrow.